seeing someone tonight. I'm going out with my boss, Mr. Amos. Anna gets ready for the evening. Suddenly, the doorbell rang. Hello, Anna. Uh, hello, Mr. Amos. Thank you, sir. Look, Anna. About today at the factory. I don't know why I behave like that. I thought it was because you found me attractive, Mr. Amos, and because you liked my perfume. You see, Anna, if we can see this as... As what, Mr. Amos? As a reward for all your hard work at the factory. After all, you are one of our best chemists. It's the least I can do to show how much I value your efforts. Have this meal on me. I'll pay for it. Uh, excuse me for a moment, Mr. Amos. Of course. Anna got up angry and decided to put a lot more of intrigue on her. At last, you're back. I miss you, Anna. I've been in a terrible dream and I've just woken up. A dream, Mr. Amos? Call me David, darling. Yes, I dreamed that I was being offered to you, treating you as if you were just someone who worked for me. The truth is that you mean so much more than that to me. You must realize that I'm crazy about you, darling. Taken aback, Anna eventually came to realize that it was the fruitcake special that attracted men. I feel my heart growing with love for you, Anna. Miss, a call for you. Excuse me, David. I won't be long. Okay. At the counter, Anna saw the waiter waving at her. Miss, I know I am only a poor waiter, but love makes me brave. When I saw you just now, I couldn't stop myself from falling in love with you. You're so beautiful. Please tell me you will see me. I know I can offer you more than that rich fool you're sitting with. I may not have his money or his looks, but lo I love you far more than he ever could. Please be mine. Wait a minute, Romeo. Why don't you just calm down and serve the lobster like a good little waiter? It was the perfume, the fruitcake special. The waiter had a good smell of it.